السلام علیکم فرینڈز آئی ایم نعیم شہزاد اینڈ یو آر واچنگ آر ای سی ورلڈ یوٹیوب چینل دس ڈیپ فریزر ہیٹ ایکسچینجر ہیز گون لیگڈ آئی مین اٹس کنڈنسر ہیز گاٹ ڈیمیج ڈیو ٹو رسٹ بٹ ہیئر از ون مور پرابلم اینڈ پرابلم از دیٹ دس کنڈنسر آئی مین ہیٹ ایکسچینجر از ناٹ اویلیبل ان سیم سائز ان ٹو مارکیٹ بٹ ڈونٹ وری آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو پریکٹیکل سلوشن آف دس پرابلم ان دس ویڈیو سو ڈونٹ اسکپ دس ویڈیو اینڈ واچ ٹل ٹو اینڈ مے بی یو ہیو ٹو فیس سیم پرابلم نیکسٹ ٹائم سو دس ویڈیو مے بی ویری امپورٹنٹ فار یو لیٹس اسٹارٹ دا ویڈیو اوکے وی وار دس کنڈنسر ہیز گون لیکڈ فرام انر سائڈ ڈیو ٹو رسٹ ایز یو کین واچ آن یور اسکرین دس کنڈنسر ہیز گون لیکڈ دیر از انارمس اماؤنٹ آف رسٹ looking appearing on this condenser and due to this it has gone leaked and now we have to need to replace it but the problem is this that this condenser is not available in same size into market and now I am going to install this type of condenser on the back side of deep freezer and showing you practical videos so watch this video step by step and now here is an important thing now we don't have a need of this condenser and so I am going to put it other side and we don't have to need this fan motor and so I am going to put it here also yes you heard exactly right we don't have need these both things now and we will install this type of condenser on the back side of deep freezer only I will install these two condenser at the back side of deep freezer because I am installing 60 feet pipe length of condenser and 60 feet is not available in single piece and this is a refrigerator condenser okay it is always used in refrigerator backside but we will also install this condenser at the backside of defreezer in uh, this position yes you can use a refrigerator condenser as a deep freezer condenser and this uh, trick is also successful 100% and now I am removing this side cover of condenser side so I can install my condenser easily and now I will pass my these uh, tubes from here and later after installing I will fix this cover here also and now I will measure its uh, suitable place uh, to install this condenser on the back side of the freezer and I think it is a most suitable on this side and now I will also mark down by using a pencil And now I will make four holes on four marks. And in this way I have made a four holes. You can see. I have completed four holes on different places and now there are two options for us uh, to installing this condenser on the back side of the freezer one of them we can use these uh, four bushes and uh, the four screws and second of them we can also use these four caps of a dryer and these four screw and I will recommend you to use these plastic dryer caps because it cannot be rustable and now I am also making holes into these four caps so our screw can easily pass from these holes and now I will put this condenser on the back side of the freezer according to these four holes first I will put this dryer plastic cap under side of condenser and later I will insert this screw by crossing this condenser into plastic cap and after this I will put this screw on exact place of hole and after this 
I will uh, tight this screw by using a screwdriver. I am using a Phillips screw and Phillips screwdriver. And now I will repeat the same procedure on left side. First I will insert this screw into this cap by crossing this condenser and fix on its exact place of hole and later I will also tie it by using a screwdriver. You can see condenser has hang but here are two screw remaining to install on lower side. Let's fix these two remaining screw quickly. Now you can see condenser has installed on the back side of deep freezer in proper way and now I will turn this starting tube of condenser to compressor area. After pushing starting tube of condenser into compressor area, now I will turn end tube of condenser on left side. Because I have to need to connect this end side of condenser with second piece of condenser starting tube and now I will put a second piece of condenser on its suitable place and now I will hang this condenser with first condenser by using four cable ties This deep freezer compressor is 15 HP and so I am installing a 60 feet condenser with 15 HP compressor and 60 feet is not available in single piece and so I am using these two condenser and now I will try to turn the end side of condenser toward starting side of second condenser I will also remove its cap and also try to turn it gently so I can easily join these two tubes with each other. Now I will connect these two tubes by using this flaring tube. I have made color of this tube on both sides. And now I will turn this tube a little bit to a lower side. So I can easily join this flaring tube by using my brazing torch. And for brazing I am using a powder flux and a brass rod for brazing. Now I will turn this tube into upper side to connect the second tube. Now I will insert this side of condenser into this flaring tube. So the brazing process may be very smoothly and easily. Uh, 
and now I will correct its direction. And now our both condenser has connected with each other and now it has become single piece of condenser. And now I am going to show you a next procedure of condenser installation. And now I have inserted both tubes of condenser into compressor area and now I will manage these tubes in proper direction. This is end side of condenser and here I will also connect a flaring collar tube so we can connect here a dryer filter at the end. After completing brazing, I will insert this these tubes into a compressor area. And now I will also connect a starting tube of condenser with main discharge line of compressor. First of all, I will correct its direction so I can connect it with main discharge line. And now I will also confirm its exact length for connecting discharge line. After confirming its length, I will cut it by using a tube cutter. Now it has cut down and now I will clean its carbon before the starting of breathing. It is most a necessary thing to remove carbon before breathing. Now I will insert this flaring tube into starting pipe of condenser and also I will insert a main discharge line into this flaring tube. Now I will also breathing it. Breathing has completed of main discharge line and now I will turn on its compressor so I can show you its sucking and discharge pressure. You can hear voice of suction, compressor is sucking well and now I am showing to its discharge pressure. You can hear its discharge pressure it is discharging well and now the next procedure is that you have to need connect this dryer at the end side of condenser tube and the other side of dryer you have to need connect this capillary tube and now you can see we have completely installed our deep freezer condenser at the back side of our deep freezer in this way you can alteration a deep freezer condenser by watching this video step by step if your condenser is not available in same size into market. I hope you will definitely like this video. If you like it, give it one like. Also share with your other friends. Also leave a comment into comment section. And make sure to subscribe my channel for more related and similar videos on exact time. Take care. Allah Hafiz.